If I said, give me, I don't know, a million dollars and I would lose 52% on it, you would say I'm crazy. The people who run this, we should just point out, for all the joking, yes. they're incredibly smart people, incredibly talented people yes. who have a pretty long track record of making returns for their investors. What went wrong here over the last four or five months? Yes, this is a firm that's had phenomenal yeah. returns for years. But what's happening now is you're seeing that their private equity um, positions have, are being marked down greatly. And then also their stocks are plunging. Mm -hmm. They've been very heavily invested in a lot of big tech companies. Mm -hmm. Those are doing very poorly. What that means is that the value of their private companies, um, like startups and venture capital type investments, are now outsized in that portfolio. Mm -hmm. And those um, are not doing well either. So those have been marked down. It's sort of a, sort of a double whammy yeah. and uh, disappointment. Is yeah. the 2 and 20 then still in question? Is it 2 and 20 in question? Yes. Well, you know, they've been adjusting their fees uh, to compensate for the, the performance um, and for the fact that they're actually side-pocketing some of the private investments. So what they're doing at Tiger Global is actually cutting the management fee down by about 50 basis points. Um, and they have what's called a modified high watermark. So they'll, you'll see some concession until on the performance fees until they make up a great deal more than the money that they've lost. Emma, more broadly, yes. does this roll out to be a longer-term concern, not just for Tiger Global, but some of the cubs that we keep talking about, but also illiquid mm -hmm. investments, the fact that they have got a lot of private businesses and they have to mark them down but and also can't exit those sorts of positions as easily. Yes, I think what we're seeing is the beginning of a bigger problem here. We saw Co2 a few months ago having to side pocket the privates in their co-mingled fund, a fund that does both public and private equity investments together. So what that means is you have illiquid investments in a very more liquid portfolio, which can be problematic as we're seeing now. Um, and so a number of the Tiger Cubs have really pushed into this, this uh, um, vehicle of doing stocks as well as doing private equity sort of investments and that um, has worked for years but now it's troubling because both of those sides of those trades are, um, are not doing well and so I think people are looking forward over the next year to see how are things going to be marked what does that mean for performance and what does that mean for liquidity for the investors in these funds